During your design review process, it's almost certain that at some point you would like to compare what happened before in an old version as opposed to what is in the latest version that you're in. This is what we call um, uh, version compare. So this is how it works. This is the, uh, the version comparison tool, the, the scale. So if we click on this, what this is going to do, it's going to ask us to compare the version we're in, in this case 09, and there it is 09 at the top, with any other version. Okay, now obviously if I wanted to compare version 5 against version 4, I'd have to change this to version 5 and then compare it against 4. I'm going to compare against the previous version and I'm just going to go off and do a comparison. Of course, this has to be enabled for your project. So it's going away and, uh, uh, and querying the, 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 the two different named versions that we've created uh, of all the elements to find out everything we've added, everything we've deleted and everything we've modified inside our model. So that's worked its way through the I model, uh, the two different named versions, and it's showing me um, in here, uh, everything that's unchanged is, is all the dark stuff. So if I was to turn that off, you can see, uh, you can start to focus in on what has changed. So all the additions, and again, we can turn these on and off. So the green is addition, red is deletion. Okay, so obviously this, uh, whatever this is here, this duct has been deleted and another one put in its place rather than it being modified. And the blue is modifications, like so. So if I was to zoom in on this a little, we can start to uh, have a look. And uh, perhaps I'm, I'm, I'm interested in these... Um, these doors here, the M single flush doors. So let's open this up a little bit more. And again, let's get rid of the uh, these so we can get down to what we want to be modified. Okay, so we've obviously got a, uh, a bunch of modifications on here. Uh, lots of glass doors and so on. Let's have a look. So these are the single flush doors down here. So let's um, um, select one of these and obviously as I click around it it'll zoom to the one I want and you, you know you can manipulate the the view around and we can see that this has been modified but I'd really like to see what has been modified so if we hit the, the scales here we can inspect the properties I'm guessing we can do it here also and this will give me a side-by-side -side view. So this is the version I'm in now, and this is the previous version here. And our list below is showing me everything that's been changed. So, um, and that, by the way, is not just physical changes in the model. This is um, properties that might have been changed. So, for instance, if we look at this fire rating, there was no fire rating before and we've added one. This is why it is green. Okay. Now, if I just say only show me the changed properties, this will shorten this list down. So instead of being a very long list with lots of things that haven't changed, it only shows me what's been changed, deleted or modified. So a thermal properties was a one and it's gone. So that's a deletion. So remember, Physical changes, yes, of course, we track the, the size difference, the thickness difference, but we're also tracking tagging changes. Now, these two views are synchronized, so if you rotate one, the other rotates also, like so. Okay. So we can see perhaps there's a whole load of stuff that wasn't in this model that's in this model here, these uh, outdoor uh, drainage gratings. Uh, so that's really useful to be able to see everything in here that has uh, changed within here. And again, we've got tools in here to uh, measure these and, uh, and also to, um, uh, to isolate them so we can just concentrate directly on that. So if we go back in here now, 
We can always make a check on what it was we were doing. So if I go to version compare, we can see that 298 elements changed their status from one version to the other. And again, if we want to stop the comparison, we simply hit the stop comparison button and we're back to where we were.